Hi, this is Teddy Smith. Today I'm going to teach you guys about discounted cash flow. And discounted cash flow is not used as much and it's not taught as much in formal settings such as finance classes in college, but discounted cash flow is used a lot in evaluating companies, evaluating investment decisions, and in this case we're going to be evaluating a simple real estate decision. So, um, if you've seen the previous NPV video, NPV and discounted cash flow are almost identical except in one thing and that is the NPV includes the initial investment. Discount cash flow does not include the initial investment. NPV just includes the initial investment and that initial investment is going to be what you pay for the property in real estate. That's all the initial investment it is. It's what you're going to pay to buy the house, buy the uh, trailer, buy the apartment building. So in this case we don't use that. The rest of it, we're just going to basically discount these cash flows back. You don't need to know really the math behind it. Excel's going to do all the math. It's, if anybody says you need to learn how to do the math on these, I would say that they're right. But at first, don't try and learn the math because you. what I try and do is I just want to try to get you to see how it's used in real life. And a lot of times, once you can see how something is used in real life, you'll be a lot more motivated to actually use it. And you'll be a lot more motivated to actually learn it when it does come to the math. So, like I said, um... The yearly cash flow we have here, this is and this is just a little um, very simple example, we have a yearly cash flow of $10,000 for the first five years. So year one, year two, year three, year five. Remember, we don't include the initial investment up here. So if you don't have this Excel spreadsheet, you can download it in the bottom and it will really help you learn. Um, how to do all these calculations. If you don't, just do the NPV function in Excel and don't include the initial investment and that's pretty much what you got to do. But anyway, so we have $10,000 yearly cash flow for the first five years and on the year five, notice that this number is a little bit bigger. Why is it bigger? Because that is your what you what you plan to sell the property for and you plan to sell it for a little bit more than what you paid for it because you wanted to appreciate so in this case in our little stupid example here we sold the property for a hundred thousand dollars plus we added that ten thousand dollar cash flow on top of it that's why it's eleven thousand or a uh, uh, hundred and ten thousand dollars as opposed to just a hundred thousand dollars so yeah just take a look at that and Cap rates around where I am are around 8%, so I use the 8% return as what I would assume I would get um, in the future. And that may differ. You could use the IRR, you could use the cap rate. Really, if you think about it, it's just a simple metric. You never know what a, you cannot 100% predict the future so if you can just kind of look at it and be like well I mean if I get an 8% return it's still fairly profitable if I get a 10% return it's you know worth this it's more of just a little gauge to see how your investment will behave with different discount points the discount rate really isn't that important it doesn't matter what exactly that cap rate is but in my case 8% is a uh, cap rate a that I typically see in this area and it is a discount rate that uh, I, I'm gonna apply to this okay and when we do that it comes out to a hundred and six thousand dollars for our discounted cash flow alright so theoretically after we've discounted all these little cash flows back to the present day the property excuse me, it's worth $106,000. Now, that's the discount cash flow. Watch what happens. Say that I bought this property for $70,000. And this is, the, this. remember, this is the MPV. You see? Boom. 
this property today would, if I were to buy this property, it would add $33,000 to my net wealth. And if you look down here at the discount cash flow, we still have $106,000. So if you can kind of see the relationship there and that there's really no complicated difference in really what they are, it's just one has the initial investment and one doesn't, you'll really start the, it'll really start to click with you how exactly this stuff works. But anyway, I hope that you guys like this video. Uh, I will probably include more videos in the future but I'm my brother. He's about to graduate from real estate school, so we're gonna probably move on to more vlogs about each other, uh, about our business. But anyway, if you want to see more, um, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter or please uh, like my Facebook page. Thank you for watching.